Hello, um, I'm Tanya from Vegan Faith, obviously, and I did a video a couple of days ago and um, about my Africa trip, and I was so embarrassed that I even decided to post that when I'm in my PJs. It was first thing in the morning. I'm not sure what I was thinking, um, but now you get to see all sides of me. So today I wanted to do another video to show you that I can actually do my hair and um, look halfway presentable. So I decided um, to do an accent vlog. You probably saw these going around a couple um, a couple weeks ago. A lot of bloggers were doing them and um, I wasn't really interested in doing one at first but now I'm kind of addicted to videos. So I decided to go ahead and share with you my accent and the way this works is there is a list of words and questions that I'm going to read um, just to show you how I say different things. So. Um, Let's see, I'll also list these below, that way you can follow along and see what versions of these words I'm actually saying. Um, it starts with ant, as in, you know, like my Aunt Patty. Route, wash, oil, theater, iron, salmon, caramel, fire, water, shore, data, ruin, crayon, toilet, New Orleans, pecan, both, again, probably, spitting image, Alabama, lawyer, coupon, mayonnaise, syrup, pajamas, and caught. Caught like I caught a ball. Okay, so the questions are, what is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? And we call that TPing, or I've just TP'd a house. What is the bug that when you touch it, it curls into a ball? And that's a roly poly. What is the bubbly carbonated drink called? So I just call that soda, which I don't drink. Um, but funny story, growing up in Florida, everybody would call, call soda Coke. Like everything was Coke. So you might, you know, say to your mom, can I have a Coke, even though you're really talking about a Sprite or a Dr. Pepper or something like that. Um, and so I used to say that for a very long time, you know, can I have a sip of your Coke, even though somebody would be drinking, um, like I said, I don't know, a Mountain Dew. And so um, we got made fun of for that quite a bit when we moved from Florida to Missouri. Um, so I kind of quit saying that, but I, I don't know, that's just part of, you know, my childhood was calling it Coke. All right, uh, what do you call gym shoes? I call those tennis shoes. Um, but I actually really like tenny runners, so when I was working summers as a camp counselor, um, there was a, a lot of international staff, and they would all, like people from Australia and England would all say tenny runners, and I just think that's really super cute. What do you say to address a group of people? I say y'all, and I've always said y'all from um, being born and raised in Florida to living in Missouri and then moving to Wisconsin and being made fun of for it and now living in North Carolina, um, right back home where everybody else is saying y'all. So, um, what do you call the kind of spider that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs? And I call that a daddy long legs. What do you call your grandparents? I call them grandma and um, I only have one grandma now, but I um, used to call my grandpa's grandpa. Um, my nephew actually calls my mom and dad, Oma and Opa, and I think that's really cute. That's the German version of Grandma and Grandpa. What do you call the wheeled contraption in what you carry groceries at the supermarket? I call that a grocery cart, but a lot of people around here say buggy, and I think that's cute. What do you call it when rain falls while the sun is shining? And I never had a name for that until I started listening to these accent vlogs, and I heard people saying sun shower. So now I call it a sun shower, and we actually just had one yesterday, and I was thinking, oh my gosh, this is exactly what a sun shower looks like. Um, so what is the thing you change the TV channel with that is a remote control, or I suppose a channel changer, I probably called it that before, but usually just, you know, pass me the remote. Um, so yeah, that's the accent vlog. Thanks for listening and getting to know me a little bit better, and I hope I haven't made a complete fool of myself today.